Let's get right into it. Number 10, the internet. So you're scrolling through TikTok, watching cat videos, sending memes, and arguing with strangers about pineapple on pizza, but you're using something that was originally created because people were worried about getting nuked. Back in the 1960s during the Cold War, the US government was thinking, if we get nuked, how are we gonna talk to each other when everything's destroyed? So they created ARPANET, the great grandfather of today's internet. Instead of sending data through one central point that could get blown up, they chopped up messages into tiny pieces called packets. These packets would take different routes to reach their destination, like a bunch of drunk pigeons delivering pieces of the same letter. If one route got destroyed, the other packets would just find another way around. It was designed to survive a nuclear attack. And now, it's used to share dance challenges and conspiracy theories. It's like buying a tank for its cup holders and realizing it's also great for off-roading. Number 9. The Devil's Kettle Imagine you're hiking through Minnesota, enjoying the trees, the birds, the I'm totally outdoorsy vibe, when you come across a waterfall that's basically trolling science. It's called the Devil's Kettle. One half of the waterfall flows like a normal law-abiding citizen. The other half, it drops into a hole and just vanishes. No river downstream. No splash. No. Hey, I'm over here. Just gone. So naturally, scientists did what scientists do. They threw stuff in it. Dye, ping pong balls, GPS trackers, all disappeared like your socks in the laundry. No trace. No explanation. It's like nature built a glitch in the matrix and forgot to patch it. Some say it's a hidden underground river. Others say it's a bottomless pit. But the truth is, nobody knows. It's the kind of mystery that makes geologists cry into their sediment samples. Number 7. The Dancing Forest In Russia's Kaliningrad region, there's a forest where trees twist like pretzels. They spiral, loop, and bend in ways that defy gravity. No wind, no magnetic field, no explanation. Scientists blame unstable soil. Locals blame spirits, but no one can replicate it. It's like nature decided to do abstract art and never told anyone why. You walk through it and feel like the trees are mid-dance, frozen in time. And science? Still stuck in the audience trying to figure out the choreography. Number six, the zone of silence. In northern Mexico, there's a desert where radios stop working. Signals vanish. Compasses go wild. It's called the zone of silence. Planes avoid it. Locals whisper about aliens. Scientists say it's magnetic anomalies. But no one's mapped it. No one's explained it. It's like the land itself doesn't want to be found. And every time someone tries to study it, the silence gets louder. It's the Bermuda Triangle's dry cousin. And it's just as rude. Number 5. The Great Filter. So here's a fun existential crisis for you. We've got billions of stars, trillions of planets, and decades of sending, hey aliens, we're cool, signals into space. And yet, radio silence. No UFOs, no intergalactic WhatsApp, nothing. It's a theory that says intelligent life always hits a wall. Maybe civilizations destroy themselves with nukes, climate collapse, or TikTok challenges. Maybe we're the lucky ones who made it past the filter. Or maybe the filter is still ahead of us, and we're sprinting toward it like a toddler chasing a balloon into traffic. Science can't prove it but it can't ignore it either. It's the kind of idea that makes astrophysicists stare at the ceiling at 3 a.m. and makes you wonder if we're just a cosmic fluke on borrowed time. Number four, spontaneous human combustion. Okay, this one sounds fake, but it's not. There are real cases where people have literally burst into flames. No fire source, no accelerant, just poof. Human torch mode. And the weirdest part, the surroundings are untouched. Furniture, fine, curtains, chillin'. Just the person, reduced to ashes like they owed the universe rent. Science has theories, alcohol, body fat, static electricity, but none of them explain how the fire starts inside the body. It's like your cells suddenly decide, we're done here. Rare? Yes. Terrifying? Absolutely. Explained? Not even close. Number three, the Devil's Sea. You've heard of the Bermuda Triangle. Now meet its Asian cousin, the Devil's Sea. Located off the coast of Japan, it's a patch of ocean that's basically a ghost with a grudge. Ships vanish, planes disappear, compasses spin like they're drunk. And when search teams go looking, they vanish too. Science blames underwater volcanoes and magnetic anomalies. But the wreckage? Never found. It's like the sea has a taste for mystery and a strict no-return policy. Every time someone tries to explain it, the ocean just shrugs and swallows another boat. Number two. The Eridanus supervoid space is supposed to be full of stuff, stars, galaxies, cosmic drama. But then there's the Eridanus supervoid, a massive patch of space that's just empty. No stars, no galaxies, no cosmic fireworks, just a whole lot of nothing. It's so big it shouldn't exist. Some scientists say it's a cold spot in the cosmic microwave background. Others whisper about alternate universes bleeding through. But nobody really knows. 
It's like the universe hit delete on a chunk of itself and hoped no one would notice. And now, we're staring into it, wondering if it's a glitch or a doorway. Number 1. Conscious Cosmos Theory Alright, buckle up for some brain bending. What if the universe isn't just expanding, it's thinking, not metaphorically, literally. Some physicists believe the cosmos might be conscious, like a f aware, processing information, reacting to stimuli. Basically, the universe might be one giant brain, and we're neurons firing inside it. Sounds wild, right? But it's gaining traction, and if it's true, it means we're not just floating in space. We're part of something that knows we're here. So next time you stare at the stars, just remember, they might be staring back. So, if you're the kind of person who questions everything, who laughs at settled science, and who thinks curiosity is the best superpower, you're in the right place. Subscribe for more myth-busting madness.